can't get stuff like this wrong. They give you everything you need. This is just plug points into equations with a little bit of a geometry twist, right? A right circular cone has a height of 22 centimeters and a base with a diameter of six centimeters. The volume of this cone is n pi centimeters cubed. What is the value of n? Well, uh, no one expects you to know the formulas for a cone, but uh, we do have them, right? Let's go to the reference chart, which is in the Blue Book app. And hopefully you know the, what a cone is. I know they don't label it, but that's the cone, guys. Uh, and so there you go. It also has all the dimensions on the shape for us. So volume is one third pi r squared h. Let's just put that down. Volume is one third pi r squared h. Well, they give us a height of 22. So let's pop that in. And oh, they did not give us the radius. They gave us the diameter, but that's okay because remember in a circle, the radius is half the diameter, right? The diameter is the full way across the radius is half. So we just divide six by two. So we get a radius of three. And remember, we got to square that. The pi is just going to stay a pi and one third. And we're solving for the volume anyway. So let's just do all that, right? So you could put this in the calculator just because I'm lazy. I'm not gonna, at least not till I need to multiply uh, the, the 22 part, I guess. So nine is going to reduce with this to make a three. So actually, I don't even need to do that because three times 22 is 66 pi. And just look at the way they ask this, right? The volume of the cone is n pi. What is the value of n? Don't multiply by 3.14 in a calculator. That's not what they're asking you to do. They're telling us to just keep the pi there. And what's the number attached to the pi? It is 66. Done. Nice and easy question. Not only is this something you need to get right, but it is something you need to get right without faltering, without stumbling and wondering, what do I do? How do I handle this? You have to know instantly they've given you that formula and you can use it. So if this is something that you're kind of just figuring out now, then you got this wrong because you didn't know the formula. Remember that reference chart is there. Any geometry question where you don't like have the information you think you need, open it up, see what's on the menu. Odds are good. The formula is given to you.